In this free class, you'll learn how to design a maze activity book for kids that you can sell on Amazon, Etsy, or other marketplaces and start generating passive income. I'll walk you through everything from designing the mazes to creating professional covers so you can have a ready to sell book by the end of this tutorial. So let's jump right in. First, open Canva, click on Create, and searching for book. I'll select this size and open it up. First, I'll give my project a name. Let's call it Maze for Kids. Now, we'll start by adding a simple background color to our first page. Next, it's time to create our first maze. To do this, we'll install a free Canva app. Go to Apps, search for Maze, and click to install it. This app allows you to create mazes with just one click. Simply click Generate, and a brand new maze will appear, and it even provides the solution. You can also adjust the number of columns and rows to make the maze easier or more challenging. Below that, you'll find three different maze styles. I personally like this one, so I'll select it and add it to my design, increasing its size to fit the page. Now, let's add a title. Press T on your keyboard to add text, move it to the top, and type Maze 1. I'll change the font to something fun and bold. Increase the size and align it properly. Then, I'll add another text box for the word Start and position it at the beginning of the maze. I'll choose a simple font, like Garrett. I'll duplicate this text, move it to the end of the maze, and change it to say Finish. Now our first maze page is ready. Next, I'll duplicate this page to create the solution page. On this copy, I'll display the solution from the Maze app, add it to the page, and remove the original maze. Then, I'll enlarge the solution so it's easy to see. Now we have both the maze and its solution. From here, we can repeat the process. Duplicate the page, change the title to Maze 2, disable the solution in the Maze app, generate a new maze, and replace the old one. Then duplicate the page again to create the solution page for Maze 2. Now, continue repeating these steps until you have as many mazes as you want. I've created 10 mazes with their solutions. Once all the pages are ready, I'll open the grid view, select all the solution pages, and move them to the end of the book so kids can find all the answers in one place. Between the mazes and the solutions, I'll add a new page. Add a heading that says Solutions. Increase the size and add a fun graphic related to solutions to make the page more appealing. With the inside pages done, it's time to create the cover. I'll add a new page and go to the Design tab where Canva offers great templates that we can customize. I'll search for Kids Book and pick one I like. I'll remove any unwanted elements, set the same background color as the rest of the book, and change the heading to Maze. I'll move it to the top, change the subheading to For Kids. And below that, I'll add the age group. For example, ages 8 to 12. I'll use the curved text effect to give the titles a playful look. Then I'll search for a maze graphic, place it in the center, and add a few fun elements to make the cover more attractive.
Now our front cover is ready. For the back cover, I'll add another page. Search for maze again. Add and place a maze in the center. And copy the title style from the front. I'll write how many mazes the book contains, such as 100 mazes. And add kids activity book below it. And add more graphics to make it attractive. And that's it. We've created a complete maze activity book in Canva, including all the mazes, their solutions, and both the front and back covers. Now, all that's left to do is download the book and then sell it on marketplaces like Amazon KDP or Etsy, or even give it away as a freebie to grow your audience. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more tutorials, and let me know in the comments what kind of book you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next class.